All right, so let's see if I can make a mouth from this. Sort of the same way I just did it, but with it being a mouth, I'll just use this to sort of adjust it. <laughs> oh, it's a bit strange. Oh, maybe I need to take it off snap. Maybe I need to angle it a little bit more. Let me stretch the stretch it out. I feel like it's gonna cut it really weird, but let's let's give it a shot. Let me just save it before I mess it up. I'm sure I will. Mouth. These are the eyes. This is the snoot. Head. Okay, so these two, and I can erase the mouth. And we'll box and merge it. Uh, we'll keep it at 150 for now. Not too bad, actually. I mean, it looks terrible because I did it at such a low resolution. Or whatever you want to call it. But not bad ultimately. This needs to be flattened away or even clayed away. All right, something like that. Not bad. I do need to figure out where I want to put this nose. How I want to do this nose. So. I think something like that is pretty cute. So how about we snoot, mouth, let's fox and merge them all together, and then, oh, oh, wow, and then we'll smooth and just see what we get. Okay, I like it so far. And one thing that I learned from doing those other characters is it's kind of cute to put a little like nose, like a little pudge flap. So let's try it, why not? I can always delete it. If he needs one, it would be smaller, I think. So let's make it a little smaller. And just see if it offers anything to the character. And I think that's the best way to sort of learn and figure out what you want to do. 
Maybe, maybe subtle. Maybe subtle is better. Maybe if it's a little more flattened. Let's see what that looks like. I kind I kind of like that. Not gonna lie. I think that's. I think that might work. So for the mouth, it's pretty good. It's pretty deep. Let's see if flattening will make it look a little bit better. I think it does. I think that looks good. Let's see what pinch looks like. If I pinch these areas that are a bit troublesome. I think that looks good. I wish I could smooth out these little tiny imperfections. I don't like them. This mouth, I feel like it needs to be, that's, I feel like they should be more even. So I feel like I need to use move. And pull that out some. Was that too far? I mean, it doesn't need to come out. Maybe just a little bit. Mm. Maybe just a little more right here. Makes him look like he's in a. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, okay. I think another thing we need is to. Maybe we can drag. Too bad. Add a little bit of that cheek moving up. I do have issues with like the lower mouth. I do find it to be quite difficult to sort of get right. I mean, this looks okay, but there's still something that's like not making it not feel perfect. And I'm not sure if it's just, I don't know, I think I just need to Actually, mm, I think that actually helped thinning out thinning out this bottom bottom part I think helped I'm 
because it is sort of tricky to figure out the anatomy of like the mouth, the bottom jaw. That's always been uh, really, really difficult for me. But I actually don't mind this. I think that actually looks pretty good. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So I think I'm just going to inflate. Do I want to inflate a little here? Actually, I might want to drag. I might want to drag this. Maybe even inflate a little bit. Why can I never find inflate? I think I'm going to switch it with measure. I never use measure. We'll keep stamp up there. So inflate will be there for now. So let's just, oh, that's a little, that might be a little too much, too aggressive. I may don't need to actually. That actually looks pretty decent. I'm just gonna add some clay like around here. So his head is a little more even and rounder. Just smooth that in nice and good. And this is another reason why I, I remeshed it at like 150, uh, just to keep it Keep it fairly soft so I can still, you know, add things and, and soften it up and things like that. It kind of looks like a frog, but I like it. Like, he'll definitely look good when he has all the rest of the accoutrements on him. But I think he looks pretty good. Um, I can add his teeth because that won't take too long. Bring his teeth up, a little bit smaller. Maybe something like that. It looks like it belongs somewhere around here. So I'll just mirror that. That's a little too far. I think I want them a little flatter too. Oops, I always hit that stupid cone. So mirror. Okay, I don't mind, I don't mind that too much. Might be a little too low. So let me raise them up a little bit. I don't mind that. For the tongue, let's see if I can add my tongue. I know I made one. Uh, it's really good to just make things that you make all the time. Apparently it's colored already. Since you can see, even with Metcalf, the color still shows. I don't know what color I want to make the tongue. 
So let me just try to paint it white. I think this is white. Yeah. So I'll make it smaller, wider. There it is. Oops. Make it a little wider. There we go. I think that's a good start. I think that's a good start. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna hit some, I'm gonna get some sleep, but we'll come back and we'll work on uh, my little Disney version of Toothless some more. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Make sure to check me out on, you, on, on YouTube, on uh, Instagram and TikTok. Good for Dave. See you guys soon.